Hi Libra, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. And guys, thanks for being here. Uh, we are going to do a read uh, as it pertains to the first two uh, weeks of September. Uh, it's gonna be about love, uh, you and who, okay? We are going to pull a card specifically as it relates to overarching energy in terms of your love life. And then we'll get into a few other cards uh, as it relates to parts of yourself that uh, might wanna speak with you. Uh, we'll get into that in just a minute and then we'll jump into the main spread of you and who, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We do have a new moon that is happening in Virgo uh, on, I think it's like the, uh, what is this? It's, I think it's on the 7th, okay? And it does depend on where you're at in this world here, but it's a new moon in Virgo and it's about setting your intentions for this stability in terms of maybe perhaps relationships or situation, but getting something grounded, okay? So this is about setting those intentions for that to get ready to that uh, full moon that's happening at the end of the month on the 20th, all right? Uh, so do keep that in mind. That's in Pisces, poetic Pisces, right? So, um, all right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you here, okay? Uh, woo, this came out. What is this? Okay, what do we have here? Oh, you guys. Well, leave it to you to get this card. Uh, this is Lovers, right? I don't know if you guys can see this. It's super light. Um, let's take a look. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit better here. There you go. Okay. This talks about lovers. This is like two people looking in the same direction, right? Now this could be uh, some sort of, uh, this is really being in love. This is all about yearning for love. And this could be you, Libra, kind of in that mood, all right? And, um, you know, love is can be so many different things. You can get caught up in the whirlwind of romance and the, 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 the heat of passion, right? But it can also lead to a lot of misunderstandings sometimes, right? It can uh, make us go mad right uh and uh it really enlightens us and uh brings some you know compassion at times with us that's what this card talks about this is saying that you're really yearning for love right now and uh this could be you could be doing with a gemini in the uh typical tarot deck this does uh, 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 uh um, exemplify a uh, gemini um but what this talks about is uh it reduce the 57 reduces to a three and this is about all forms of communication in terms of love so this is very cool to to see this uh, coming out for you that that overarching energy is lovers and uh, it's about you know playing uh, in in the passion side of things be able to receive um, this is saying uh, love 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 it's kind of like if you're yearning for love this is saying is going to find you this is when, but what getting this card really means so it's kind of like get ready Libra I mean really get ready because this is really beautiful energy right get ready to be playful love is about ready to find you I know you this is something that uh, you could you you know, actually be on your mind um but yet uh it is something uh just it's gonna be beautiful it, you're gonna be you're gonna be capable of receiving more love than you've ever received before it's kind of, kind of like this this timing of this is just really amazing so there's going to be communication of love that's coming through let me let's take a look at what the soul trees have to say with all this love happening here for you lucky libra i mean wow I'm jealous. <laughs> I am. Um, what do we have? Begin now. This is about planting the seeds from your heart's desire. I mean, literally, because the green and the blue, well, the green is the heart chakra, right? The blue is the throat chakra. Again, we get into communication, right? Because this card is about communication in love. And this is about planting the seeds of love, right? Uh, isn't there a song, Sowing the Seeds of Love? I kind of get that right now. Um, but this is what's happening. Uh, it's an older song but it's, it's coming into play because of the seed and I mean like it's it's about planning and having a new beginning so it's about planning what your heart desires and communicating that with the universe so get your manifesting on get uh you know really focus on the intention of grounding this energy uh especially with the, the Virgo new moon and uh, get ready for the Pisces at the end of the month uh you know which is uh more about uh what you what's coming to fruition right so start putting those intentions in play right Right now is what this is saying beautiful energy guys okay beautiful energy now let's take a look at what your shadow side wants to prepare you for as it pertains to love okay uh, what does your shadow side want to share with you just to be careful and be, be aware of what is this jealousy okay this is about any past wounds that have to pertain to jealousy need healing so when you when jealousy kind of creeps up in you it's all about focusing on what self-love bring it on right back to you here because whatever you're jealous about in someone else 
I mean, you have it in you the same thing, but you're far greater than you know, and you're not giving yourself enough credit. So it really returns to you. It focuses on you being on, you know, focusing on self love. Okay. So, um, and, uh, you know, that's what's coming into play. So really work on your self love because the, the, the more that you focus on you, the more that other person, whomever that is, whether they're in your life or not, can vibrate and, and, and be attracted to you. Okay. But you're, they're, you're only going to get the vibe that, uh, you know, to that of which that you're emanating. So just make sure that it's at the highest level so you get the best. Okay. We want that for you. <laughs> All right. But that's what's coming through here. So that's what your uh, shadow self wants you to be aware of as it pertains to love, especially these next two weeks. All right. Um, let's take a look at what your inner child wants to share with you and uh, be, um, you know, kind of focus in on you. And then we'll get into, well, actually, let's get into the light side. What does your light side want to share with you here? Okay. What does your light side want to share with Libra? Uh, what does Libra need to be aware of the first two weeks of September regarding their light side? You are overthinking. Ground yourself with a yoga tree pose. You know, this is funny because you know who got this too? And I, I'm shuffling here. You just saw me do it. Um, you know, another sign got this. And I think it was, um, who was it, guys? Uh, Aries, I think, got this. Uh, as well. But in any event, uh, don't overthink, get out of your head, right? And focus on the heart, right? So this is all about opening up to love, right? Um, it, it's love is finding you. So stay balanced, uh, you know, be that God or goddess of love and, and just really go out there and have a beautiful time, uh, and, you know, as it pertains to love, because this is what's really coming. You've got a beautiful opportunity here. Uh, whether or not that you are aware of this or not, this is what's coming through. Okay. Let's take a look at what your inner child has to say, uh, as it pertains to this and where you're at, uh, next two weeks here. Uh, actually the first two weeks of September, I should say first two weeks of September, 2021, what does Libra need to be aware of? This is it. What is it? What do we have here? Okay. Okay. What do we have now? It's saying that in the past, maybe you felt, uh, parentified, you know, and, uh, in a caretaker role, maybe you were being the caretaker in a relationship or situation. Okay. But now, now, Libra, you're able to experience moments of play, joy, fun, laughter, and silliness. And that's what that's what that love is all about, right? And lots of love. So it's time to play. For you right now, it's time to play, right? And now this could be, you know, playing safely, but this is about having that childlike uh, playfulness about you and uh, to take that on because maybe that you were parenting, you felt parentified, um, which means that maybe you were more in a caretaker role in a relationship or situation and now you're no longer that okay so it's beautiful energy so let's put this aside in all of your beginning now uh, and love energy and let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, what the cards have to say for you uh, in these next two weeks so um, let's take a look about how you feel about this person okay so how does uh, how does Libra feel about this person what does that look like okay what do we have here Knight of Cups, all right, you've got love for this person, okay, I'm telling you. Now, um, let's see here. What I got here is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So, there's love for someone here, okay? Um, this is, uh, you know, when I get the uh, Knight of Cups, it's someone coming forth in love. So, there's love for you. You see that right by the heart there, right? So, this is focusing on love for you. Someone could be expressing love towards you. Or you could be expressing love towards another. Could be an air sign, or you could have. Excuse me. Um, you know, could be. Um, um, they could have water in their chart, uh, and uh, um, you could have water in your chart uh, as well as Earth, because then I get the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is talk about uh, talks about getting that foundation. This is a strong foundation. This is about uh, coming together in wealth and establishment, right? So this is love, uh, you know, as it pertains to wealth and establishment, and so this is about creating that. This is established well so it's kind of wealth that's already there that could be uh you know uh, you know we even built even more upon right so uh could that could very much well be the case i do want to take a look and see uh if anything else might want to come through um with another tarot deck here let's take a look so ten of pentacles and the knight of cups you might see uh you know uh you know a future with this person or or perhaps that you're offering love to this person and you've got you know solid grounding on this or uh you feel that you can create that ten of pentacles with this person Okay, 
uh, or you could have that with this person. What do we get? The Empress energy. So this is about a birthing of something new. I, I'm, I'm, um, this is interesting because this could be about a birth, all right? It could be that uh, some of you might be pregnant. For those that apply, uh, if it's not that, then this is a birthing of something new in a relationship or situation, going to that next level in a relationship or situation, right? Creating that wealth. Uh, this is beautiful, beautiful energy, right? And uh, she's all about, uh, you know, um, uh, you know that, that feminine energy. She's all about beauty as well. So it could be someone that you're attracted to that you see as the empress, right? And uh, how you feel about this person is that you feel that, that that um, that they could be a a strong solid foundation for you. It's someone that you definitely feel like it's a solid person that you want to offer love to. For some of you, it is an opportunity. Um, you know, I almost feel that uh, you know she might even have a ring. You know, on there too. It's like it's someone that you feel that you could actually marry or come together with. Okay. And what do we get? The Eight of Wands. Yeah. And then I get it could be travel change or movement in the situation. So it could be that one of you has to move. Maybe you're at a distance from each other. Um, there is movement here but this is about things going in the same direction now going smoothly they didn't before okay i really feel that there was a previous cycle of some sort that uh was a hindrance uh in just your energy it doesn't have to be within two people just in your energy here um but i feel that now everything's kind of smooth sailing and is more balanced and can go the same direction and uh there could be a form of communication coming through that gives some sort of balance all right and and that's what i think that you feel is like um you want to move in the same direction and uh, so I think that you've got, I think you've got, uh, you know, a lot of love for this person. You could see long-term and growth. Anything that the love oracle has to say. Uh, anything here wants to come through. Yeah. You've had enough of any sort of uh, sneaky behavioral and, and, and lies and feeling unappreciative. Uh, you really want to move to something that uh, is really uh, something much better, right? That brings in a balance, right? If things need to be equal, okay? I don't know if in the past that you've experienced Libra, uh, maybe just... Uh, uh, you know, bad, a bad situation where feelings were fading. There was, uh, you know, not good. Uh, there was like sneaky behavior and, and people were unappreciated, uh, you know, felt un maybe you felt unappreciated. Uh, but this is saying is that are things equal? It's time to create things and make a balance in here, create balance. So uh, for some of you that are in a situation, it could be creating balance. For those of you, it could be that you've had maybe relationships in the past and what you're seeking now is balance and um, how you feel for this person is that that uh, um, there is an opportunity to create some sort of balance uh, within this okay let's take a look at this other person on how they feel about you okay how does this other person feel about you okay the who who is this other person over here and how do they feel about you okay could be dealing with an Aries I got Emperor energy they're really solid and structured um, and then I get the seven of wands okay so let me put this aside what's at the bottom of the deck the ten of swords so they're getting out of something that caused a lot of anxiety depression or despair okay the beauty is that it's come to an end the sad part yeah it was a lot of a lot of it was very very difficult okay so they've coming out of something it looks like on their side uh, it's in and um, again could be done with the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy um, so it could be a fellow Aries air sign of some sort um but i do get emperor energy in you know which is you know aries energy and then i get the seven of wands okay so you know the seven of wands really talks about uh you know a competition and perseverance this is overcoming uh you know uh overcoming something here this person had to overcome something they're very solid and structured and um this is about you know having faith in overcoming any sort of uh um, uh, how I want to say this, like, like competition and perseverance. They, they want to continue, right? They want to persevere. They're solid. They're strong. They want to persevere. And that's how they feel about, about you right now. It's kind of like, um, how they feel about you is that you want to persevere, that you want to, uh, create a solid foundation is what I feel. Um, let's just take a look one more card here. Wheel of fortune. Okay. I was going to say, it didn't feel right until I got this card here because I said, something's got to shift here, right? Um, I, I, and, and this is funny. This card comes, I was just thinking to myself here, funny. But this is really talking about a new cycle uh, that has been, that, that needed to change. And I know I've mentioned it for you, so you could be, this person could also be going through a change. Uh, and you might resonate with one side more than the other, so just note that. But the Wheel of Fortune is about destiny and karma. So this is about them letting go of the karmic ties that they paid in the past and letting go of that karmic 
that kind of energy. Now, um, how they feel about you is um, how how they feel about you is that maybe they feel that that you have let go of some sort of cycle, right? You have let some go of some sort of cycle here, um, and uh, are starting a brand new foundation, right? And um, you want uh, you want to persevere and move forward within that. Okay, let's take a look at. Um, what this other deck has to say, how they feel about you. They feel that you finished some sort of cycle, okay? Let's take a look. Anything else? Yeah, a very karmic, a very difficult one too. Uh, Capricorn energy, okay? This is the devil energy. Some sort of addiction, some sort of, uh, it could be any way from a, a mindset, uh, a way of thinking, uh, to an overall addiction of some sort, right? And, and uh, uh, a full-blown addiction, you know, in some way, shape, or form. So this is what's coming into play. Now, if you help with that, hence beyond the read or, uh, you know, uh, beyond you know, um, hence beyond the read a rapid change session below. Um, but this is really what it's talking about here is that there's been some sort of uh, bondage in terms of a situation. And that's how you feel that something, this is how this other person is feeling that something was holding you back. Something was holding you back and in bondage, and uh, it kept the uh, uh, it kept the relationship from being on solid ground. Okay, so that's what I feel that that was that that was coming through here. Um, what is it that you create together? What do you create together here? What is that, Libra? What do you create together? Okay, what does that look like? Knight of Swords, uh, energy, uh, you know, curiosity. Um, let's see here. Confidence. It builds confidence here. So you've got, um, the Knight of Swords, you know, this is about moving forward very fast, you know, and being very, very confident in moving forward, right? What you make, what you bring together is, uh, you give each other a lot more confidence, right? Uh, you're able to get things done a lot faster, but this is saying, don't be too hasty, uh, within the situation, all right? Slow down and, uh, rather than have an opinion, hold off on opinions or any sort of judgment until you got a little bit more information, okay? Uh, but what you make together here is, um, uh, I get air energy and fire energy, right? So, uh, in the six of wands is all about, you know, confidence. It's all about, uh, making progress. You can really make a lot of progress together if you come together and are not so hasty is what this talks about. What else? Yeah, you give each other strength. You guys really give each other strength. Leo energy, major arcana, okay? So major arcana is coming through here saying that you both build each other up. You give each other a lot more confidence and uh, and you have confidence in each other in some way, okay? Uh, anything else that wants to come through here? I get the queen of pentacles. It's that down to earth motherly energy that keeps it, that is, is focused on keeping things grounded. Right. And that is really beautiful energy, you know, to be, to be in. Um, but that's, what's coming through here. What do the soul trees have to say in terms of what you create together? The queen of pentacles is, um, it, it could be that you might be taking on that energy or that maybe this other person is really, it's got that real strong down to earth type of energy, but she knows her value. This is about the relationship together. How has got value and it's about be careful where uh, you know be careful with it you know be careful where you place uh, value um, you know uh, uh, where you place your opinions on there too is going to be really key what do you make together I'm just curious what is this yeah what you have together is is it's is kind of sacred it's almost as if it's hidden but it's sacred right it's sacred between you two and it's almost like you two could only understand it right the outside couldn't understand it but whatever it is, it's sacred and it has to do with the, uh, with the insides. Like you feel like a very strong connection and in each other's presence, you feel very confident. There's that uh, yellow, uh, is the solar plexus chakra, right? Uh, so that's what I see coming through here and you nourish each other, right? That you could really nourish each other from the inside out is what this is talking about. So you offer nourishment to make things bloom, to help things bloom within both of you. Okay. So what does the love oracle have to say on what you make? together what is it that you make together let's take a look what do we get investments practical stability uh you can make really good money together you really could create uh some sort of investments uh you could come together and create some sort of uh, uh business uh, you're really smart with money you can help each other out with that Beautiful energy, guys. You got wealth and establishment coming through here, so that was pretty beautiful. All right, let's take a look at what it is that um, uh, that you need to know about them. What do you need to know about them, Libra? What is that? What do you need to know about them? That they've gone through some heartache and they are ready to move forward with create inspiration and creativity. Okay, they're 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 open to be very creative, uh, and they're they're getting over a uh, three of swords, which is 
a heartache, you know, a heartache from the past, right? And so clearing that out and then they're ready for this Ace of Wands, okay? And this is coming out, which is really beautiful. They could be doing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, again, a fellow air or fire sign. Um, but what it is that you need to know most from them is, again, they've gone through some very difficult heartbreak and they're ready to have a new, passionate, creative, and inspired start, okay? Anything else? Five, especially after all the obstacles that they've gone through. Okay, they've gone through a lot. All right, uh, anxiety. Uh, you know, they've gone through a lot of conflict, a lot of tension and defeat of some sort. Okay, uh, and that's what I feel that has they have gone through. Okay, anything else you need to know most about them? Uh, what does the love oracle have to say? What is it? What do we have here? Wow. What you need to know about them? Is they're your perfect match. <laughs> they're your perfect match. What a read, Libra. Wow. I mean, really, that's what you need to know about them, that, that you complete them, that you're the one, right? So you're the one that they really see that really stand out, okay? Uh, so let's take a look at uh, what are the blockages in this relationship or situation. What are the blockages that want to reveal itself? What is that? What's the blockages? King of Cups, balancing emotions, Okay, so this is about balancing emotions uh, as well as moving forward in energy, lust, passionate adventure. So the blockages is moving forward too fast and not balancing out the emotions, right? And getting all kind of uh, emotions going all over the place. Uh, so this is saying, this is passion, lust, and, uh, you know, adventure. Uh, this is the Knight of Wands motion moving forward. Uh, but this is about, you know, uh, you know, getting stability in terms of the emotions. So the emotions don't get too carried away, right? And don't get lost in emotions. So the blockages is not to get lost in the emotions. Now, whether that's for you and the other person or perhaps both of you, but that's what's coming through. Not to get lost in the emotions uh, of the relationship or situation and to still look things from, you know, uh, from, uh, you know, put some, a little bit of the intellect into it and practicality in it. Okay. So I know it's hard to do sometimes when you're in your throes of passion, but this is what's coming into play. It's going to be key. All right. Anything else? Ace of Swords. Yeah. Getting that, that, the, the power of victory and clarity. This is about getting clarity. So what is um, actually uh, the blockages is getting clarity of what's, uh, you know, what holds you back. And that is, uh, um, you know, to, it, getting clarity on how to balance emotions better um, within the relationship or situation. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then the Knight of Cups offering a cup of love. Uh, love's coming through here. Very transparent, uh, honorable, um, definitely has love to offer, right? Uh, and uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now, that you could have that in your chart. The other person can have it in theirs. But it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning based upon, uh, you know, clarity over how to balance emotions better, okay? So very, very good. Anything else in terms of blockages that want to come through here? What is it? Yeah, blockages that, you know, they were fighting that, uh, that uh, you know, that, that maybe perhaps they didn't, it, it was a surprise, okay? Let's just put it that way. Uh, they were, uh, they even if they were to date someone else, uh, you or them, you know, it, it really comes out to the blockages is that you both are gems here, okay? Is really what I feel here, that they, they are realizing that no one compares to you, right? And it's kind of like that. It, it's, I think you both kind of feel that way. It's a, it's a blockage. Um, you know, that, that, that's coming through here. So anything else that wants to come through here? Yeah. Boss, babe, independent and strong. Okay. Uh, so this is how, uh, perhaps they see you. Okay. I kind of feel that, uh, you kind of feeling as both. I think that this is, they're thinking of you as a boss, babe, independent and strong, and no one compares to you. And, and you kind of feel the same way about them is what I'm feeling. It's kind of what, what's coming through here. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. So I don't know. So this is interesting. Let's take a look at what it is that is the best way forward. What's the best way forward? Best way forward. What does that look like? Four of Cups. Four of Cups and Ace of Swords again. Wow, your best way forward is a brand new beginning. Um, you know, this is about getting rid of uh, whatever has happened in the past or just, you know, whether it is in your life together or independently, whatever's happened in your past. Um, uh, you know, uh, again, independently or together, this is an opportunity for a brand new beginning. This is the Ace of Swords coming through here. So, uh, this is all about, you know, power, victory, and clarity. And you actually got this over here in the blockages. So the best way forward is to focus on the power of the victory and clarity moving forward that you receive.
received from going through, a, you know, maybe a difficult situation and now giving yourself a try and love again. Okay. And I, I feel that that could be something, Libra, that you're really working on right now is focusing on love. Three of Cups, I get. Uh, this is uh, really focusing on friendship and community. Um, maybe that you are looking to become friends first before lovers, because then I get, uh, I don't know if you see this here, but there's love that's written right here. Yeah, it's love's written right here. So it's about becoming friends, getting to know each other, and then moving forward, perhaps. Um, but that's what's coming. Best way forward is to really focus on the friendship that you have with each other first uh, and uh, get it out. Uh, maybe it's, it's this community, getting out with others. Maybe you met this person when you're out with others, or um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Yeah, this is about, uh, you know, getting out, you know, you've gone through the healing, recovering from any sort of pain of the past, right? And again, it doesn't have to be with this particular person. It could be a past love situation on your side, you know, or this other person's side. But for whatever reason, um, you know, healing is very, very key. And it's it was traumatic. And maybe some of you are getting uh, out of a, uh, you know, a, a, a karmic connection of some sort, okay? And uh, a very difficult connection that was able to be released, okay? So um, whatever that case may be, that's what I feel that's coming through here. And at the bottom of the deck, I get happy home, right? So it's happy home, you know, uh, things going well, creating a happy home for yourself. Maybe you feel that you can create one with this person, but what you're doing is making sure that that's happening for yourself and you feel you can create it, I guess, you know, a happy home with this person is what I'm feeling. What I'm going to do is I want to dive deeper into this. We're going to go into an extended and find out a little bit more. What we want to find out is what this person hasn't told you, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, what you haven't told them, what they're most afraid of and what you're most afraid of here, okay? Uh, we'll get into uh, what this person's next move is going to be, uh, as well as messages from both sides and a potential outcome uh, as well as Oracle advice. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and click the link below, guys. Um, and if not, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, definitely like and subscribe and note your comments below. And look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, namaste.